guys, welcome to the brand new start of the week. Today's audio can really serve you if you listen to it carefully. Notice this girl getting so emotional during her conversations. I really love this deep talk and I hope that you do too. If for some reason you don't understand, then please play it as many times as you want and be sure to pay attention to it all the way through. Using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure. Wishing you an awesome week and day. Enjoy and chill. We have a few questions for you and these questions will set you free. Okay. The, the answers to these questions will set you free. So just relax and give us the easy answers that come. Can I smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Relax, just relax. Okay. So you introduced into this conversation today an analogy that we used successfully for quite a while of upstream downstream and we always began it by saying we love you so much but it's like you take your canoe down to the river's edge and you point it upstream and you deliberately paddle upstream complaining about how hard it is with some sort of feeling of accomplishment or virtue in the struggle and we say just turn it downstream just turn it in the other direction and let the natural stream carry you so there's something that we know for sure about you that we want you to discover during this conversation and that is somewhere along your trail you've picked up the belief and a lot of people do that there is advantage in struggle that there's advantage in sacrifice that there's advantage in drama that there's mm -hmm. advantage in entertaining drama that I'm there's advantage in the struggle and because you believe that there's advantage in the struggle that's your default place that's where you go to in other words as we've been visiting here with you we know that intellectually conceptually you understand law of attraction mm -hmm. and you understand the upstream downstream and you understand the flow and yet at every opportunity you turned upstream because now we really want to talk about this there must be something in it for you no, 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 no. It's not about what you should be. No, it's not about that at all. So we want you to see if you can figure out, we'll figure it out together. What is in it for you? Why does the turn upstream feel like the path of least resistance to you? Why do you do that so easily? Did you have to defend yourself in a strong way when you were younger? Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of drama and, you know, I'm, I'm used to drama and it feels exciting to me and it, it, you know so there is an upside to it in other words you got a lot of attention here you're making people laugh I'm sorry you, I, I'm not faking it I don't there is not a reason in the world for okay. you to feel sorry you have done nothing wrong okay. you are not in a wrong place I'm not faking it here these are real emotions I'm not an actor there's I'm no not. possibility of anyone okay. ever getting in this chair who is faking it okay okay stop we're smarter than that <laughs> I know I, I, so what you are demonstrating is an exaggerated version of what everybody in this room feels yeah. sometimes. I'm intense. And I'm that's intense why person. you are the spokesman for uh. this conversation. Thank you. But I like intense things. I'm intense. I like to do intense things, you know. That's why I guess upstream appeals. It's like intense. So here are some upstream downstream yeah. questions. I would rather feel engaged or unengaged engaged if engagement is upstream I still would choose it over unengaged I would rather be engaged and negative than unengaged and positive stay with it for just a little because the answer to that is yes but we want you to think about why there's momentum in that negative engagement and momentum you have a lot of people do you believe that momentum is where the power is you believe that you'd rather be doing something than nothing Esther did it too instead of sitting and centering and doing a focus wheel and reminding herself that things always work out for her instead of taking the time to do that she flew out of that door like a streak and went down and presented her problem with such forcefulness in other words she did it too everyone does it every now and again but mm -hmm. the question is what is it about that because even Esther 
says, I got to do something rather than nothing. Mm -hmm. And we say, eh. <laughs> something rather than nothing. And why is that? Why is something rather than nothing a default position for so many of you? Because you have evaluated your success and your value through the eyes of others who are trying to get you to be conditional and action oriented rather than aligned and energy oriented. So there isn't anything wrong with any of that, except that now your guidance is showing you that all of your life, the habits and things that you thought were the keys to success now are not the path of least resistance. So mm -hmm. you're upended. Don't feel bad. We do that to virtually everyone who enters this room mm -hmm. because the things that you were doing when you didn't know about law of attraction often we're not in alignment with what you will do after you know mm -hmm. in other words understanding your point of attraction changes everything understanding why you have emotions changes everything understanding who you really are and what you really want changes everything understanding what downstream is changes everything but it takes some time to allow it to change and for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure you will not make the change while you're choosing to be hard on yourself mm. You just can't beat up on yourself. We can't break through that. We can't love you enough to get through your screen of being mad at yourself. Mm -hmm. So you got to just decide to give some of that up. You got to begin saying things like we were wanting our counselor friend to do with his team members the team, right. that he was talking about. We want you to be able to say, I am where I am and where I am is all right. And in the same way that when Esther got that color swatch home and she laid it across her clothes, the clothes that she wore were all in alignment. And the clothes that hung there that she never wanted to put on were the ones that were out of alignment. In other words, you intuitively know. And so you've come into alignment. You've activated your guidance, things that you used to get away with. You can't get away with anymore because you know too much. You can't go back. It's working for you. You're not failing. You're coming into alignment with who you are. We used to say to people almost every seminar in the beginning that the thing that people would most often say to us, Abraham, is it normal for all hell to break loose in my life when I begin doing this work? <laughs> and the answer is yes because the things that you used to do out of determination and habit the action oriented things don't work in this vibrational based law of attraction understanding of what your guidance system is telling you world it's a different orientation and you've got to make the jump Mm -hmm. And so there isn't anything in the world wrong with negative emotion. We want negative emotion to be a good thing. If the stove is hot, we want you to know it. We don't want you to ignore your guidance and touch the hot stove. That's not good for you. And we don't want you to endure longstanding negative emotion. That's not good for you either. But we don't want you to beat up on yourself for having negative emotion because that's like throwing yourself on the stove. Mm -hmm. That is exaggerating it, you see. And that's what true drama is. Drama is, here's a good definition for you. Drama is deliberately or indeliberately, purposefully or by default, choosing a vibration that is not in alignment with the way source sees it mm -hmm. and holding myself there until it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. Drama is trying to fix things through action rather than at the early stages through vibrational shifting. So it's on a drama disc. Say again. It's on a drama disc. That's the way you would call it like a, like how you have the discs. Well, we would say drama is a pattern of behavior. Drama is the umbrella result of being insensitive in the early stages to your emotion. Oh, right. Okay. And when you're a writer, when you're making movies, when you're wanting to make people feel something, in other words, when you're dealing with a culture that's mostly oblivious to the way How they feel. How did you know I was making a movie? Infinite intelligence. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Of course you knew. You may be more <laughs> trouble than you're worth. <laughs> You know that isn't true, don't you? You know that isn't true. Yeah, you know we wouldn't yeah. call on you if you weren't right on the verge yeah, of something. Yeah, I know, I know. So you talk more than you listen and you act more than you feel and you talk more than you hear and you don't allow the receptive mode very often. Mm. But when you do, you are brilliant.
And the reason that when you do, you're brilliant is because you've lived enough contrast that you've really put amazing things in your vortex. So you are called in a very strong way. And when someone is called in a very strong way and they don't go, you take it really hard. And that's why you're dramatic. Mm. If you hadn't put plenty in your vortex and you weren't being called in a really strong way, if someone called you on the telephone and said, hello, you don't know me. I'm just calling to tell you, I will never call you again. You'd say, all right. But if someone you really care about called and said, you're never going to hear from me again, you would feel drama. So it's sort of kind of like that. We are all appreciating what you've brought forward here. Thank you. So Just much. have fun with this. Be easy about it. <laughs> Nothing's gone wrong. All is well. Yeah. There will not be a more valuable discussion ever. A demonstration of condition over emotion, a demonstration of what is over what can be a demonstration of powerful desire. Most people never get to that place of powerful desire. They give up on the desire. They don't allow themselves to care that much about something that they can't accomplish. It's a really, 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 really good thing.